Today, the Cedarburg Cultural Center welcomes Michelle Savas Thompson as an October Artist in Residence. Thanks for being here today, Michelle. You're welcome. <laughs> Can you start by telling us a little bit about your background? What kind of things made you want to be an artist in the first place, and why do you do what you do today? I, um, art's always been a part of my life. I went to school at UWM for a fine arts degree, and when I was in high school, I took some college credits as well. And it's always been a part of my life. That's every vacation during work, I would do the plein air competitions. And I had the opportunity the last two years to make it more of a serious profession than a hobby. And that has proven well. Terrific. So what kind of media do you work in today? And, and what's the focus of your current artwork? I primarily work in oils, um, plein air, is style in plein air to capture the light and the mood of the event. So usually on location. And um, a lot of times I'll paint in studio too, weather permitting, if I had need to. Um, oils, I, I start my paintings off with an acrylic under wash and then I outline it and draw it out with the oil paint and then I fill in the values and colors with oil paint. Great. Who or what are your inspirations, Michelle, and what is it about art that really excites you? Art to me is, it's life. You caught a moment of time, you caught the sunset, the golden glow on the night, and the way it hits the trees and the houses, it's, it's exciting. You know, it's hard to drive down the road at that perfect time of night and you see the dramatic light. I just want to get out there and paint it. And um, inspiration wise, a lot of the Impressionist painters from the past and present are inspiring. Um, the past, just because, you know, of Monet, everyone in Van Gogh were always my inspirations. And current um, people in today's world are some of my greatest competitions. But I like to learn from them what I can. And what do you think your role in society is as an artist? Well, as an artist, you, I think you have an obligation to, one, teach art. And, um, and as a plein air artist, you're kind of documenting history. Kind of much like a photographer, when you take photographs, and in the past you see all the old photographs, well, we'll have those plein air paintings for years to come and documenting what businesses were there and how they changed over time. So what have been some of your greatest successes um, in your journey as an artist? Um, and at the same time, what have been some of your biggest obstacles along the way? Yeah. Obstacles are always time. Um, that's one of the greatest ones because to balance out, when to make the money, you still have to make money. So you still have to have a part-time job or you still, it's time. Because the primary objection is, or ob objective is to paint. You're an artist, you need to paint every day. It's kind of mandatory. It sounds like you continue to challenge yourself. Yeah. So what are your plans and dreams for the future as it relates to your career in the arts? Um, well, my continual ch challenge is always improve. I, I get out there, I always improve. I'm always asking the questions, well, what can I do better? Where can I improve here? What better paints can I do? So as I move forward in my career, I will be taking further workshops with the artists I admire and just keep asking the questions. And um, how can I run my business better and more smooth? Well, wonderful, Michelle. Thanks again for being here. It's been a great experience having you this October. Thank you. You're welcome.